<sighs> Bless me. Yikes. What a way to start a lesson. I could totally re-record um, this. It'd be so easy, but why not start it out with a bang? You know what I mean? Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to start out with a little bang. Um, so we're back to a certain extent on these mid segments. You can tell that, hey, it's the same thing, right? We're working with this too. Will it let me write up there? It won't. Only down here, huh? That stinks. Won't let me write up here? That'd be cool if it did. Um, two times the middle equals base plus base. Okay. Now I'm actually going to add something here. I'm going to put Z equals something. Okay. And that looks kind of gross. Um, let's go with a black there. Z equals boom. And then here I'm actually going to write perimeter equals boom. Okay, and we're going to have a little bit of a shorter lesson here because, I mean, I really only have two problems to work with and I'm going to go really slow. But we've got a shorter lesson. we got two, two questions for us to go through. Now, I need to move this so we can see. And then my next step is literally for you to press pause and copy this down neatly. Like at the top of your paper, I want you to copy down number one, exactly how it is, right? Everything here, save yourself some room. And at the bottom half of your paper, copy number two, okay? And so we can do number two together. Make sure you include this Z thing here and this perimeter here. And what I'm going to actually do before you press pause, because I'm going to add something here. I'm going to say, hey, uh, let's say 3Z and this will be 15, okay? And then over here, I'm gonna add, let's add some side lengths for this whole thing. We'll say 25 is this whole thing over here. And then since it looks pretty close, I mean, let me, yeah, let's do 25 down here, might as well. Okay, make it super clean and, and nice and neat. This whole side length is 25. Um, press pause and copy all this down when you're ready to rock go ahead and press play and we're gonna we're gonna bust it out together okay now to give us some room gosh I don't know why I did that to give us some room I just erased problem number two okay and if you're like no I wasn't done yet or whatever just rewind the video okay not a big deal um, I'm gonna switch colors here to blue and let's go ahead and figure out some things okay like what do we know Okay, I'm going to tell you right now what we know. We know this for a fact because we just did it on Tuesday. Okay, 2 times the middle equals base plus base. We can do that. We can say, okay, 2 times the middle, what's my middle? X plus 2 equals base plus base, 3 plus 9. 3 plus 9. Okay, well, let's distribute. Okay, we have 2X plus 4 equals 3 plus 9 is 12. Slide that guy over. Um, 2x equals, gosh, 8, I think. And then divided by 2, divided by 2, x equals 4. Beautiful. Okay, so we know for a fact x is 4. Okay, and we're happy about that. And hopefully I'm not going too fast. Gosh, that's gross. Okay, 4. Now, everything else you're probably thinking like, what do I do, what do I do? Okay, let's go ahead and imagine that, because we did work with some like quadrilaterals and stuff. Gosh, I don't like how big that eraser is. I wonder if I could size him down. Can I double tap on him? Can I? Gosh, that guy's huge too. Um, let me just see. Sorry, kiddos. I'm going to see if I can take this eraser down a little bit. Whoa. I'm not erased. Why is it so big? That's, that's just crazy. Reset. Reset to the default settings. My eraser stinks because I really wanted to do what I wanted to do, but whatever. Okay, thank you for bearing with me on that part of the video. Um, what I want to do, and guess what? 
I can do it. I'm just going to say, hey, what the heck's going on here? I'm going to say, I'm going to just cross you out. That's the best way to, because I, I just want you to imagine that this isn't here in the middle. We're just dealing with a regular old, like, quadrilateral. Okay, and usually, and, and I'm going to touch, and this is going to help you in the future. Okay, you know, since this is a trapezoid, this guy and this guy are parallel. Okay, what that means is that this angle in the top left, like any angle connected to the same side, any angles connected to the same side. So that would be these two angles, this guy and this guy. Or if you want to be tricky, it's the same basic concept. These two angles over on this side are going to add up to 180. That's just how it is. Okay, so using our prior knowledge here, you would say that, hey, 3y minus 2 plus 122 equals 180. Okay, let's go ahead and combine like terms. This guy and this guy are, if you combine them, 120. And if you slide that over there, we get 3y equals 60. Divide 2, or divide by 3, my b. Divide by 3, y equals 20. Beautiful. Okay, now, I kind of have to go back a little bit. I'm going to pause and make sure your notes are down. But I kind of want to redraw this picture a little bit because I messed it up so much that it's looking a little like this. Whoa, what the heck was that? Some craziness is happening right now and I don't know what I did. Um, it was looking like this. And I just want to let you know, because you're going to see it on your homework. I'm trying to be very particular here to show you things that are going to come up on your homework. If you see a piece here and a piece here, and they're on the same side, or you see something like this, um, 5j, and then down here you see 25, and guess what? Over here, guess what I put? 3z, 3z, and this guy down here is 15. You set them equal. So this little piece on top is going to be equal to this little piece on bottom. This little piece over here is going to be equal to this little piece here. So if you wanted to find our z's, like I said, you just set them equal. 3z equals 15. Divide 3, divide 3, z equals 5. Okay? And that's everything. The only thing we added, I mean, this the angle thing on the inside was review. Okay, this little piece over here was new. Set this guy equal to this guy. That was new. I'll give that to you. Okay, now let's come back to problem number 2. And thank you for bearing with me. I know I got a little messy there, but it's all good. You zoom this guy up a little bit. Um, yeah, I wish I had more room to work, but it is what it is. Okay, I'm struggling a little bit today. The struggle is real on this lesson. I'm not going to lie. Okay, now, um, I'm going to show you right now that I'm not as old as I think I am, but I did add something over here that said perimeter. And then I did say that, hey, this guy here is 25, and this guy here is 25. See, I'm not as old as I thought. Okay, now I'm going to clear this space over here for us to do some work. The first thing I want you to do on your own, okay, is see if you can find X and see if you can find why? Okay, um, and why is going to be a little tricky, but just see if you can find it, right? Given what we did on the last problem, press pause, go ahead and solve, and when you're ready, come back. Now we know for x, it's a 2 times our middle, our middle is 7x, equals base plus base. Well, what's my base and my base? 5x is a base, plus 18 is a base, right? That's our formula that we learned um, on Tuesday. So we have here 14x equals 5x plus 18. Um, slide that guy over and we have 9x equals 18. 
and it looks like x equals 2. Okay, so there's our x, and you kids probably did it, you, you probably did it right. Now here's a really important word, isosceles. It's an isosceles trapezoid. Well remember, on an isosceles triangle, that means these guys are the same, our legs are the same. So see how I drew this as 25 and 25? Okay, it's the same, it's an isosceles trapezoid. Well guess what, an isosceles triangle, these angles at the bottom are the same, 80 and 80. Okay, which means that guess what? These base angles at the bottom of our guy, because you need to turn your head and say, oh, okay, how's that guy looking? Okay, these base angles are really the same. So if this guy's 64, this guy's 64. And it actually plays the same way up here. This guy's 5y plus 1. Now going off last problem, remember what I said. These two angles are going to add up to what? They're going to add up to 180. Okay, so we're going to say, hey, 5y plus 1 plus, running out of room over here, 64 equals 180. Okay, we're adding them and setting them equal to 180. Combine like terms here, we get 5y plus 65 equals 180, right? Oh, but is that the worst 180 you've ever seen in your life? Probably. Okay, subtract that guy over. 5y equals 115, I think. Okay, divide 5. This is where I need help. 5 times 20. I think it's 23. Okay, so y would be 23. Okay, now we're to the point where they want perimeter. And I told you perimeter was all the way around the outside. It's this guy here. It's this guy on this side. It's this guy on this side. And it's this guy on this guy. We have 25, 25, 18, and we're missing one thing. This thing says 5x. Well, what's x? x is 2. So can I plug this 2 in here? 5 times 2 is 10. Yes. 25 plus 25 is 50, plus 10 is 60, plus 18 is 78. Boom. Booyah. Okay. So that is, that's the lesson. The only thing I added I don't want the eraser. The only thing I added, remember, was these little pieces over here. You set this guy equal to this guy. You set this guy equal to this guy, okay? That's new, and the perimeter concept is a little bit new too, but it's all building off of stuff we already know, the prior knowledge, okay? So let me pull up your homework for you if you don't want to pull up the attachment, just so you can see it. Um, this is our homework, two problems due to me by Friday. Um, I can actually try and zoom it up a little bit if you want me to make it bigger, but, but that's it right there. If you don't want to open the attachment, don't open the attachment and just work off of that right there. Um, two problems, due by Friday. Uh, if you do it, I'll raise your grade. If you don't, your grade will stay the same. Pretty simple, okay? You kids have a good week. Um, we're going to have a test next week or a quiz at some point, so just be ready. Um, and we'll do a review. We'll do a review session. We'll probably do a review on Tuesday, a quiz on Thursday, okay? And that thing will really raise your grade if you do it and do well, okay? Love you, kids. Peace.